Hello, my loves. Sending you so much love and peace at this Gemini full moon. Today is the day. It's a big one. We have the full moon in Gemini conjunct with Mars in retrograde. So I was just doing a little bit of reading about this particular event and this astrologer that wrote this article was saying it's a big time for apologies and accepting apologies. Um, it's also a time of where you might feel a little more conflict in your interpersonal relationships. You might feel very testy and ready to pop off at people. Um, you might feel a little more triggered than usual at this Gemini full moon. But fear not, because that's totally natural. The Gemini full moon is going to be bringing a lot of energy, a lot of new feelings. Full moons are a time of culmination and rest. One, two, three on the clock. We love it. You may feel a particular focus on the relationships most important to you, that they're really coming into the spotlight right now. Um, I would suggest if you feel this testy energy, this conflict energy, to be making sure that you're grounding yourself extra right now, that you're taking more time for yourself, doing your grounding practices. I don't know what that is for you, but for me it's definitely yoga, tarot, burning some sage, doing Reiki, meditating, going within and really asking yourself what this conflict is about. Like, what are you feeling unheard? Are you feeling unappreciated? Are you feeling like the people around you are behaving in some way that you're not okay with? It might feel like a time of really big conversations. Gemini is the talker. I'm a Gemini myself. I have my Mercury tattoo right here. I find that one of my greatest strengths as a Gemini is communication, open and honest communication. So that could be a big theme for you right now where these big conversations are happening at this Gemini full moon and the surrounding times. Um, you may feel more talkative than usual. You may feel ready to stand up for yourself. Um, there's big conflict management energy here. So I usually like to share what cards I pulled for myself in, the, um, in my readings because as Mama D. Taro says, if it's me, it's you. If it's you, it's me. So today I pulled the Eight of Pentacles with the Temperance reversed. Temperance reversed excites me because temperance upright is almost like a calm down and take your time energy, uh, which I don't always have the easiest time doing. So temperance reverse says to me it's time to move forward. Temperance reverse coming out with the eight of pentacles upright says to me, if you're working on a particular project, if you're working on developing a new skill, if you're an apprentice of some sort, if you are finding yourself in a time of life where you're really working to become something new, um, it's really encouraging energy to move forward with those projects and to become, to really step into this new era of your life. 
but always make sure that you are still getting all your ducks in a row, making sure that you are grounded and that your cup is full before you really go full steam ahead with these things. Because as a creative myself, I can say that my creative endeavors are only serving me best when my material abundance is right, when my health is right, when I'm taking care of myself and sleeping enough and drinking enough water and like so I would encourage you to really get excited and move forward with these new endeavors that you're having, but also make sure that you're really taking care of yourself and um, making sure that your cup is full. So Spirit, I want to thank you so much for all the guidance and love that you show me and the collective every day. I want to ask for any messages that will greatly benefit us at this Gemini full moon conjunct with Mars retrograde. Any messages from people, from souls who have passed on, from absent twin flames, from people who are unable to communicate with us right now, or just messages from you for our greatest and highest good today. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> we have the Four of Cups reversed. So this is big grace energy, accepting apologies from folks that may come through at this time to make an unexpected communication with you, um, really allowing yourself to have compassion for the people around you but still being discerning about any offers that might come through. Ace of Pentacles. You're coming into a time in your life when you feel winning. That's something that's really coming through. It's like, I'm winning here. Grounded, stable new money coming in, maybe new financial miracles are coming your way. And you're feeling really grateful right now and stable in your own life. Maybe you just started a new job, promoting your small business, really making moves to make sure that your cup is full and that your abundance is straight. So you have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So this could really mean, oh. <laughs> we have the King of Pentacles reverse with the sun upright. So this is such joy energy when it comes to your finances. King of Pentacles in reverse says to me that you are really taking good care of yourself, focusing on maybe you are saving up for a huge life change and you're kind of keeping this private. You're doing this for yourself. Maybe you're somebody who's given a lot to others. Maybe you're somebody who's in a ton of service work. Maybe you're somebody who your life purpose is to help others and when you feel you you feel like you're wearing your skin you feel like you are doing your life's dharma when you're out there helping folks maybe you volunteer maybe you're you know feeding unhoused people really fighting for a cause for the best of the universe but you're also making sure or maybe you're you're kind of really pulling your energy back from that service work for a little while to make sure that you're good because we cannot pour from an empty cup. We cannot give to the people around us if we're not giving to ourselves. 
the people that you are dedicating your life to help will only benefit from you if you are good in your own life. So the King of Pentacles in reverse says to me, I'm taking care of me with the sun. You feel so joyful about this. You feel like this is a new dawn, this is a new day where you refuse to give of yourself to the detriment of yourself. And this is new for you. And I would really encourage you on this path and not to feel selfish. And being selfish is not always a bad thing. In fact, sometimes we really have to set those boundaries and take care of ourselves first. Yeah, this is a new this is a new era for you. You're really stepping into a lot of power. You really feel like you're winning. Eight of Pentacles upright again learning new skills maybe you just started learning how to be a tattooer you're in that you're in the shop apprenticing you have a full-time job and then you go to your apprenticeship like I just want to say that I'm so proud of you it's not easy to become something new. It's not easy to learn a new skill, especially in the midst of making sure that you're good and taking care of yourself. You might feel a little burnt out right now. I know that personally I've been overextending myself, so I'm taking these messages in to myself as well. Eight of Cups upright. This says to me that you are accepting that a certain situation is not what you thought it was eight of pentacles revert eight of pentacles right next to the eight of cups this is big almost there energy you have so many things going in your life and you really feel like things are about to pop off don't give up but at the same time, you might feel like it's for your best interest and the best interest of all involved to walk away from a certain relationship or a situation that's been draining you. Maybe these new skills that you're learning, this new abundance that you're coming into signifies also walking away from something because every ending is a new beginning. Every new beginning is the ending of something. The universe is polar. Let yourself cry it out. Let yourself feel your feelings. Mourn this ending with grace. Do your best to discern what pulls are coming from your highest self and what pulls are coming from your shadow because I know better than not better than, but I know just as well as anyone that walking away from a toxic, unproductive situation is sometimes extremely hard, especially when we've been taught that love hurts and love feels familiar when love was chaotic, when you were a child or breaking these patterns is not easy. But standing up for ourselves and standing up in our own power is always going to be for the greatest and highest good. Maybe you're having a difficult conversation right now around this time where you're feeling pushed to accept someone's apology, but also not accepting this person back into your life. These things can coexist where we see someone for all the good that they're doing for themselves, but we can also say your presence, I forgive you, but your presence in my life is not what I need right now. Your presence in my life is not safe. So don't think that things have to be black or white right now. 
yeah, focus on the joy, focus on the new beginnings, focus on all of this beauty that you're bringing into your life. The sun upright is such a good message. Focus on your inner child and what your inner child needs. Maybe your inner child needs to play more. Maybe your inner child needs to get into nature, go to a show, go to a gay bar and dance to some Lady Gaga. Self-care, right? Just make sure that you're taking care of you. Do something silly. Meditate on your inner child. Ask them what they need. Picture you as a child running into your arms and sitting on your lap and that's something that I do a good amount is that I give my inner child the parent that she always needed. The supportive, safe, compassionate, adoring parent that I've always needed. So, ha <laughs> ha my favorite card, the hermit. Take your time. Take some alone time. Look within. Really, you might have to disappoint some people right now for the benefit of yourself. Remember, being selfish is sometimes the most amazing thing that we can do. I love the hermit. I love going hermit mode in my life. Make sure that it doesn't push into the emperor on the bottom of the deck. We love it. Yeah, you are really stepping into your power, and sometimes that means taking time for yourself. Canceling plans with love. <laughs> taking some time to be single. With the Gemini full moon, we might be feeling a little horny, a little excited. Do you? Be safe. But really ask yourself if hooking up with this person is in an effort to push an old situation out of your mind or if you're really ready to start dating again right now. One more card, please. Oh my goodness, we have the King of Swords. Yeah, discernment. Discern what is right for you. This reading has sitting in your power all over it. Take some time alone. Take some time to yourself. Be good to yourself. Your intellect is stronger than ever. The King of Swords, Gemini Full Moon. Your mind might feel like it's buzzing with a thousand different ideas right now. Ground yourself. Eat some healthy food. Meditate on your inner child. I'm so proud of you and so happy for you. There is so much new abundance coming to you. There is so much completion and full circle energy in this reading. Deep, long exhales to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. When you feel triggered, when you feel overwhelmed, because it's bound to happen. Having the Gemini full moon conjunct with Mars in reverse during Sagittarius season might feel like you're in this energy where you know that so many things are about to pop off. You're so ready for action. You're so ready for things to take off. But there's this energy of not just yet. You see all of your ducks getting in a row. You see visually everything coming into alignment around you and within you. But maybe it's time to go hermit mode a little bit. Focus on yourself, focus on your inner child, get your material earthly endeavors in place, 
and I know that Sagittarius season is going to be huge for us. Have faith that all of these things that you're doing are going to have massive impact. Massive impact in your life. It is a new era for you. Nothing is going to be the same in such a beautiful, unbelievable way. But big things take time. If there are difficult conversations happening right now, do your best to have them with grace and compassion for the other party. Burn your hair that you just chopped off. Thank the previous versions of yourself for doing the best that they could. Thank your parents for doing the best that they could. Forgiveness, compassion. We're all just out here trying to do our best. Personal readings are available. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a personal reading and we'll set it up. Please like, comment, subscribe, because this helps me to connect with your energy more deeply. Take care of yourself. Take a nice Epsom salt bath tonight. I'm so excited for us. This is huge. This is a huge time. There's a mass awakening happening. And it's so good. Beautiful things are happening. Don't look back. I'm sending you so much peace and love and joy today. I hope that this Gemini full moon is absolutely magical for you and full of new abundance and new excitement and laughter. Don't forget to laugh. I love you and I'll see you next time.